OMG. Look on the screen. Look on the screen. Look on the screen. Hate to ask it, but yeah, not listen. This is part B, the commentary. 40 years old? 40 years old? The dust must age you because this dude looking every bit like he about 65 out here acting a fool. Worse than that, he's, he's dangerous, dangerous, dusty. So as you heard by the report, you can't even just sit in your house, lay in bed, watch TV. A woman has gotten shot in the hand. So it sounds like to me, some fool just decides to just shoot indiscriminately. Shot in the hand. The fabric of society is just falling apart. It is deteriorating. And there's no way to really fix it. It's just not. It's like if you had a magic wand, and this may sound very offensive to some, man, you just need to do a a cleanse, a, some reprogramming. Mm-hmm. A cleanse, reprogramming. All this counseling, I'm not buying it. Let's call it what it is, just evil. From the idiot, and I wouldn't be surprised if some young person, you never know, just shooting like that. Oh, I bet you ain't gonna shoot that window, shoot that window. Shoot this gun. Just do it. And then a weak mind, they just go and do it, and they want to belong. And the parents don't want to be bothered. That's the thing about it. Uh, a lot of these ladies, uh, the IODs, the incubators of instruction, they are using these kids that is happen to get pregnant, then realize, oh, I can get some help financially. Oh, well. And just live vicariously, li using their womb as a wallet, because they know the taxpayers may step in and get, you know help them out. And so then, they want the kids out the house. I don't want to be bothered. I need my time. Well, look here, Billy Joel. I, let me tell you something. Uh, let me tell you something. Bucky's daddy's coming over here tonight, and I just need some time myself. Go ahead and get on out. And they don't want these kids. They want to be bothered. That's why they're not raising these kids. And they let the outside influence raise these children. Yeah. And then when they get older, for the ladies, sometimes, when, you know, you can't, uh, the streets ain't checking for you no more. Then you want to, I don't know where God a hand. Oh, heck, your child been out of hand, been out of hand. You, you out of hand. You out of order because you had them by dusty. So I think that's why you have crimes like that. Now, speaking of what, uh, this on the screen. Again, 40 years old, I don't know what kind of hurdle that is, but it's really not working for you. He has a t-shirt that says, world's best papa, world's best stabbing. What's happening in the streets today? Shooting and stabbing. They have him on the suspicion of stabbing several people. One person died. So just think, going around, he owned his bike or a scooter, whatever. Just stabbing people, homeless people. He looked on the homeless himself. Stabbing me. I don't want to hear nothing about where the person needs counseling. Know what you need is to be put down. That's what you need. Maybe let a group, if, what if it happened to him? But this just shows you. This just shows you. In society today, it's unraveling. And more people are acting out. And these dust buckets, I already told you, when the mammoth resources start to dry, they really going to act out. What you want to bet, what is this man on the screen, where does he live? Or as they say, where you stay at? Where does he live? I doubt he has a job. He might be homeless his darn self. Or more than likely, he probably has access to some kind of residence. And I'll bet it's a woman. Mm -hmm. Some kind of residence. Well, he can eat, sleep, shower, if he's not homeless himself. But I'll bet you there is a family member somewhere. And they're angry. And they're mad at the world. Life happens to everybody. They are mad and they are very, very angry. So go out into society because you yourself are a failure. He has nothing to offer himself or anyone. A broke, evil dust bucket. 
So you want you want somebody to hurt as worse as you. That that's what you want to do. And here's the thing that's surprising. Some people don't realize the ones that aid and abet them don't realize. They really want to hurt you, but they need you. It is take one little pop off. See, out in society, I, those are strangers. They figure out they're homeless. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I really do believe that. They are mad and angry. And some of the same ones, they help them. Matter of time, like this on the screen, it would be a matter of time before he turned on them. The other thing I want to mention, you look at, we've had people that are homeless, set on fire, this here stabbing, Let's talk about something else. Seeing that that's happening to homeless people and what you could be subjected to, again, we've seen it. Male and female, we've seen homeless people set on fire. We can't afford more homeless people in this country, and the powers that be really don't care about a solution. Because the stuff you see, when you hear about, when I, and I saw that in the comment section about renting out tents in the backyard, you got to be kidding me. The stuff you see, especially like in Los Angeles, well, with all the rent increases, uh, we can't afford more homelessness. It's out of control. Because then you're going to have more families out in the street and more trash like this here. They'll just have their way with women and children. So the point I want to discuss, knowing that that's out there with homelessness, what does it say about a man? And I don't want to care. I don't care what he said, how to describe a woman. What does it say about a man who has children by a woman and the woman is facing homelessness and he is nowhere around? Nowhere around to assist, nowhere around to protect. What does that tell you about that man? I don't give a darn that they don't get along. And if the woman is all, if she's such a bad, horrible person, then that makes you super fool. Because why'd you get her pregnant? Oh, she is no good. She's a ho, ho, ho. Then that speaks volumes about you. You put your dipstick in any kind of engine, especially one you want to label as a ho, ho, ho. Really? What does that say about you? If she is no good, that old so-and-so. But Chad, still, you chose her to have your children. So stop and think. You see a lot of women and children that are, uh, that are facing homelessness, that are dealing with homelessness. Make excuses if you want. Knowing the danger out there and the man doesn't even step up. What does that say to you? These women can't call on these men. If they could, they would have. If they could, they probably wouldn't be homeless. So knowing that this depravity is out there, what does that tell you about these men that are abandoning these children? And the sad fact is, is some fool to see a man has abandoned one woman and you think it ain't going to be you. Good luck, girl. Then you look up. How he got three and four baby mamas. Well, well. Good luck with that, ladies. How he's treating you. How I took the last woman. Well, that's her. That's not me. But here's what you're missing. What you and a woman have in common. The common denominator is him. You both have the same man. So what, what was her experience? And sure, some uh, people can only treat you the way you allow them to. But think about it. What was her experience so great? How is she faring off financially? If she on a struggle bus, I ain't nowhere in the world. I would I, I would date him. Mm -mm. A disease, it could be contagious. The seed of poverty D is contagious. It's the same old outcome. Poverty D, stress, worry, financial problems, emotional, sometimes physical. So stop and think. He's out, He was out here allegedly just stabbing people. A person died, so any woman with children, and you can still try to hold on for your man, make all the excuses. Good luck, girl. If and when you become homeless, man doesn't step up. He doesn't have, where is he staying? Where is he laying his head at night? 
He doesn't have family trying to reach out and try to help you to coordinate something. But he's willing to leave you susceptible to homelessness and all that's involved. You, you are being exposed to the elements. You are being exposed to the street. You are being exposed to danger. Where is the baby daddy at? Where is your man at? Any woman that's dating a man and he's a baby daddy? If he has children, ain't never been married. Good luck, baby. You might end up being the next. Well, I don't have any kids by him. You might end up being the next baby mama. And sometimes we don't see it as long as as long as we're good until life starts to spiral, and then you end up you just like the baby mama before him and the one the last baby mama that was before you and on and on and here goes the cycle. So where are the men at? That's what I want to know. Where are the men to protect the women and children from being homeless? If they're nowhere around, speaks volumes. If any, I can't see anybody who's willy nilly getting pregnant in this economic climate. So think about it. Some, some women still trying to keep hope alive. Oh, keep hope alive. No, you got it wrong, girl. Whatever going on with Tyrone. But stop and think. No one this is out there. Where are the men to protect the women and children from being homeless? I don't care if they don't get along with a woman. You have a child. If that's, then go pick up your child, fool. Go, go get your kid. If she's so horrible, that's what I would do. I would say, go and get the kid. I got. I can't take care of you. I can take care of my kid. Where, where are the men? Nowhere to be around. Nowhere around. Knowing that setting folks on fire, stabbing, killing, all other kind of uh, crimes they're committing is how, it going to, is how it's going down. Newsflash. Said it before, I said it again. I don't care if the relationship has come to an end. When you are in financial straits where you have home and food and security, where is your man? The one you have now, uh, if that happens to you, is he going to be able to pick up or are you expected to do it on, on your own? It's all up to you. And deep inside, you know the answer. And if it's all up to you, I suggest you find yourself a new boo and I'm out.